Hi there, it's Bruce from Nature Calls. Have you ever wanted like a really totally unique tent at the local campground? Kind of looks like a yurt. Or have you ever gone camping up in the snow and thought how great it would be to have a group tent where everybody could get together, especially if it's really gnarly weather? And that's what I've been doing with these group tents. And this is the Hillebrook Altai, which is one of their group tents. And it's set up with the use of just poles and you can use trekking poles, you can use skis, you can use sticks to put up a tent like this and it provides enough space so if you're doing a group tent or you needed a space where people could just get in out of the wind and rain together or wind and heavy snow, you could all be together having a great time cooking together, having a conversation, or if you were like a search and rescue team, a place where you could put up maps and charts and communication centers. That's what these group tents are really awesome about. So this is the, the bag with just the tent part in it. If you want to get just an idea without the poles, could, that's about maybe a two-man tent size if you squish it all down. And then if you add the poles like on the outside of your pack or give them to somebody else, uh, that's a workable deal. And I can definitely squish that down. Use my hand width. No problem. I have the Altai actually upside down because I wanted to show you this red strapping in a cross pattern in the tent. because what you'll start off your setup based on this, these cross strapping uh, units. Later on, you can actually detach these and I'll show you that later. But for setup, you want these red straps on and you want to peg out the four corner straps attached to the perimeter of the tent first off. And that'll give you your best. And uh, also where the door is, the door is right over here. So you know, depending on where you want the door, that's where you'd start. Now on the outside of the tent, so you have the you have the the red webbing underneath, but you have a white indicator here and you have a white indicator on the other side where that webbing goes. And for the other webbing, you have this red on this side, and then it'll be a corresponding red on the other side. So I've staked it off that side. Now I'm gonna come to the other side of that red strap. Not too tight, just tight enough. I'm going to stake that side. I'm going to go find this strap. Which is right here. I'm going to have it pull it somewhat tight. Not too tight. And put it through that ring. Now I'm going to go over to this side. Find that red strap. So now I've pegged down the cross of the red strap. So now what I'll do is I'll just go around and peg out the rest of them. But that's how you get a good start on all this. So Hilleberg provides poles for each one of these and there's a little vinyl cup. You put it down there and then they have like a little vinyl top piece that you put there and you just tighten it up until it tightens up with the pole and then we stake it out. I'm just going to kind of somewhat loosely stake all these out. Now the other option is to use trekking poles or something else. So what we'll do is put these trekking poles at the max right there and you put the tip of the trekking pole in that same vinyl cup and put that little sock over that and you just tighten it up again so there you could get rid of all of your poles if you had all trekking poles we're gonna do something with the trekking poles a little later so I'm gonna Take this trekking pole out and I'm going to go around and I'm going to put all the poles in kind of loosely, not super loose, loosely do the guy lines and we'll go around and fine tune it. Pull in this pocket and you just tighten it up until it's 
tied up with the pole. And if it's super windy, you can take your line and do the wrap around the pole to give it that much more rigidity. So if it's a super windy time, definitely go like that. At this point, we're gonna go around and tighten things up. This is the Vectran line, which is super nice, um, tight woven. It doesn't have a, a, an outer sheath like the Paracord. It's super tight, doesn't absorb water. It's always nice and grippy. It's nice little line locks. Super nice line. Now let's just go around and I'm going to tighten it up now at this point in time. It's looking good. Now one of the main ways to keep the cold out, they have a snow flap down here you can pile snow on and uh, you can get it real super wind tight. So now at this point we need to put the center pole up and they provide you with a center pole which is quite and it has an adjustable bottom on it uh, which is really you're you're doing I think that's irregular no but it has the door here we're going to unzip the door and we want the black part at the bottom and I'm gonna go on in here and stick it in this little pocket so right here they have a pocket You take the tip of the pole in it, and then right here, where there's a cross in those red stripes, that's where you want the pole to eventually sit, or, or on a vertical like that. Now we'll just adjust it until we have good tension on the, on the roof. That looks good. Now this little sock that we put the pole into, let me just cinch that on down like that. Cinch it up at the top. Now we've got a nice spot. We can hang things off of that. But now this here, so say you wanted to not bring any poles, you could have your trekking poles doing the perimeter. So would that be four people's worth of trekking poles? And then you take a pair of skis and put, you can put your skis up in here. So you don't have to bring any poles. So there you'd lose probably a good four to five pounds worth of gear if you didn't bring any of the poles. Now it has two ventilation. You can easily undo to get some more ventilation. And then if you have the inner, these would line up completely with the inner tent. So here you have the inside and it's according to design, you could have six people sleeping in here. But say you wanted, uh, say four people, and that's what you're going for. You could easily have four people in here, or you could just have this as the group tent, like what we did last winter with the MSR Twin Brothers. But you could like leave half of it, uh, level snow for your sleeping area, and then cut out where there's chairs and, and a table, and you can do all your cooking or whatever. Or you could do the whole thing like what we did, and what a lot of people like to do with this tent is they would dig out this spot right here, and that would be your inner table and cooking, and then dig out chairs and footwells all around that. And that's where you could have, you know, then it's it's six feet tall here in the middle, but then you could easily have it so it's six feet tall at the apex where the roof meets the walls. I mean, in the snow, these things are a blast, and we had such a good time. Uh, last winter having a group tent. If you get the inner for this, so you don't have to have the inner and the way I use it, it would just be in the winter so I wouldn't need an inner, but you get an inner just like any Hilleberg tent and they have all the little suspension loops all around so you'd have that double wall Hilleberg uh, standard tent with a double wall outer wall and then they have a separate floor that you can put down. So it's an inner without a floor and then you put the floor down. But you also have all the spots where the inner would be hooked to. You could hook up lanterns or dry clothes or you know you could put up maps if you're a, a support tent uh, for a climb. I mean there's so many things that you can do with a group tent. Um, 
and if you have enough people, say you have four to eight people on a on like an expedition, it's so much more fun to have a group spot that's out of the wind that you can all sit around and have a good time. Now they've also added a bunch of more guy out points because if you say we're in a, a heavily treed or a wooded area, you could actually get away with no poles at all and just suspend this whole tent off of trees. And they have a loop up at the top and uh, yeah, you could, you could easily guide this out in a wooded area without any poles. Come here, good girl. Good girl, yes you are. <laughs> Last year we were up in the snow and we had great tents. I was running an Alak and John was running a Stika, and so the tents themselves were just fine. We were well protected in our own tents, but we were up there also to have a great time with each other. And uh, so we set up a group tent, and I'll put a link to that right, right up here. But it was really so much fun to have a spot where you could have everybody together and cooking and talking and we even had some music going. It was really great. Um, but this is the Altai and they have a couple group tents and this is one that I've always been really intrigued about because it kind of looks like a yurt and it's kind of that old school looking tent. Um, but it's also one that you don't have to have a floor in so you can dig down and uh, create tables and chairs like we did uh, last winter and it was such a blast. But they come in two models, you have the Altai UL Basic, and that's done with the Curlon 1200, which is their red label tent fabric. And then this particular one is their Altai XP, and they are using the Curlon 2000. So this one's super duper strong and, uh, you know, not maybe something that you, you know, so you have to decide which fabric you're going to go. The Curlon 1200 is all in with all the poles is uh, roughly eight pounds and the XP with the curl on 2000 is roughly 11 pounds. Now I did um, measure, so this is the XP. So all the poles, which so it'd be the same with XP as it would be for the UL, the pole bag, the whole pole bag and all the poles and stakes was four pounds, nine ounces or 1830 grams. Uh, the stakes in the stake bag, which are the Y stakes. Uh, that was eight ounces for all those. Now each one of the poles that you'd use to put up is uh, 5.3 ounces or 152 grams. So if you're trying to cut and you have enough trek poles to do the whole thing. So you're, you're gonna save 5.3 ounces per pole. And the center pole, so if you wanna do like a ski, or a pair of skis for your center pole, that's 13.1 ounces if you got rid of the center pole. So you can easily start to get rid of weight with this tent and make it even that much more packable. But I could see where people that would use this would probably have a pulk or you know be able to split up the weight um, between everybody in the party. So um, to have the ability to have a group tent is totally worth it and uh, I had a great time with it. All right, so that is the Hilleberg Altai, and it has a few different models, and I just think it's really cool. You can get the, the inner parts for it, um, so you have that double wall situation and, and the yellow fabric that you see in all of them and the floor pieces. Um, you can add on to it if you need to or not. I can easily see this as like one of the coolest tents in a campground if you had all that stuff. But it's definitely probably one of the coolest group tents uh, that I've ever seen and you can do so much with it. But uh, hopefully we will get this out, especially next winter. Would love to have this out next winter. Um, and get some more footage with it. All right, I'll see you out on the trail. Bye now.